Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. A card is a visual in Power BI that is used to display a single value. It's known as a card because, well, it looks like an index card or a postcard. At least that's my interpretation. This Power BI report contains four cards, each one displaying a single numeric value. Above each card is a standard text box and the text that's in there indicates the value the card represents. Now, Excel doesn't include a card visual, so I'll show you how you can replicate Power BI's card functionality in Excel. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. I need a card on this dashboard that displays the total revenue along with an appropriate heading. The total revenue is the sum of all the numbers in the revenue column in this sales data sheet. And I need to place this at the top left corner of the dashboard. Now, everything on the dashboard, the charts, the slicer, the spark lines, is driven by these pivot tables. I've created a formula in A16 to generate the total revenue. I've used the get pivot data function to grab the total revenue from the pivot table that starts in A2. So let's return to the dashboard sheet, go up to the insert menu and click on text box. When I move my mouse pointer back into the spreadsheet, you can see the mouse pointer has changed shape. On the Mac, it's a little black arrow with an A underneath it. On Windows, it's a little vertical line. But either way, I'm going to move my mouse pointer to approximately where I want the text box to start. And I can move the text box later, keep my finger on my left mouse button and draw out the text box. As I say, I can move it, I can resize it, but I will position it there. This text box is going to contain the title. So the title I will type directly into the text box and that is going to be total revenue year to date. To change the color of the text box and any other formatting, I can use the standard Excel buttons. So with the text box selected, go up to shape format, shape fill, and then I'm going to choose a color. I'm going to choose this green here, but you can choose any color you want to. To change the font and the size and, and the alignment of the text, click back on the home tab. Let's change the font to 20 points. Let's set the alignment to centered horizontally and centered vertically and set the color of the text to white. And that's the text box for the heading, but I also need a text box to display the value. And the quickest way to create that text box is not to create it from scratch, but to copy the existing one. So with that text box selected, I'll just control C, control V, and it creates a copy of that text box, which I can move and position where I want it. Now you'll notice that both text boxes have got a white border around them. So if I click on the first text box, go up to shape format, shape outline, and select no outline, and do the same for the other text box. Shape format, shape outline, no outline. The second text box, that is going to contain the actual value of the revenue. So I will delete out the text from it. And with the text box selected, click in the formula bar, type an equal sign. And I want to reference the cell that's got the total revenue in it, which as I showed you before, is in the pivot table sheet in A16. And press enter. So that has brought across the value from there. One point to note is that when I deleted the text out of that text box, it removed all the formatting. So I need to go and apply the formatting again. So I'll make it white text. I'll make it 20 points and it's actually kept the alignment. It was only the font formatting that was lost. You'll notice it's applied currency style to that number, even though the number formatting options are unavailable, they're all grayed out. And it's getting that from the formatting of A16. So if you want to format the number that's in the text box, you actually have to format the cell that it's pulling the number from. 
Now, what about when the data gets updated? Well, when new data gets added to the source in the sales data sheet and the pivot tables get refreshed and A16 gets updated, that will automatically update the number in the text box. So there we go. That's how to replicate Power BI's card functionality in Excel. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments. My free weekly newsletter is packed with tips to help you become more productive in Excel. And you can sign up for that at theexceltrainer.co.